Good morning, Gulf High. Live from WBUC Studios, I'm Austin Bullen, bringing you the Gulf High Morning News for Monday, March 31st, 2014. Lunch for today will be a choice of PB&J sandwich, hummus combo, chicken Caesar salad, cheese or pepperoni pizza, or teriyaki beef nuggets. All conference track athletes are to eat a lunch. The track meet will start at noon at Anclote. Looking for a summer job? The Newport Ritchie Recreation and Aquatic Center is hiring lifeguards. You must be at least 16 years of age and register for the classes on April 5th and 6th. For more information, you can view the scroller. Senior Blitz is Friday, April 4th, 2014. Seniors interested in attending PHSC for the 2014-2015 school year are encouraged to attend. Students will go over to PHSC and complete the orientation process. Parents are welcome to attend, especially for the financial aid representation. All students must complete the PHSC application and pay the $25 application fee prior to April 4th. Lip sync is right around the corner. Students that want to participate need to complete the application and submit to guidance by this Friday. The show will be on Friday at April 25th. Now to Mr. Strasser for an announcement with, regard, with regards to photography. Good morning. We are here today to acknowledge two recipients of a prestigious award uh, that was given to two of our art students and two of our students in Mrs. Barris's room. Ms. Barris, can you ex please, please explain the awards? This is the second year that our students participated in the Frameworks Photography Contest. Frameworks is an organization in Tampa that helps young ladies in school and in the community make good decisions with their lives. Last year we had Kendra Stafford win uh, Community Choice, and this year we had two winners, Joanne Donovan for Community Choice and Tiffany Maven for Judge's Choice. Both girls attended a luncheon in Tampa last week and had a very, very good time. We hope to continue this con tradition next year. Nice job, ladies. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you very much. Here he is again to talk about FBLA. Um, Good morning. I'm here with uh, Ms. Oster and the FBLA organization here at Gulf High School. As a former FBLA member myself, I can say that FBLA is a terrific organization that helps you and prepares you for the business world as well as life in general. Some of the things that I learned I still hold and have gotten me to where I am today. Um, today Ms. Oster has presented um, some of her students who recently won some awards and we want to acknowledge them and congratulate them on what they have accomplished. These seven students placed in state competition and are headed to nationals for competition in Nashville, Tennessee this summer. They're going to introduce themselves. Uh, Keisha Belgis, second place in public speaking one. Second place in personal finance, Francesca Arigani. Uh, Michael Jarvis, and we placed in the team event banking and financial systems first place. Uh, JC Danha, and we got first place in banking and financing systems. Kash Punjabi, I'm on with them on the team, so banking and financial systems first place. Uh, third place in management decision making. Also third place in management decision making. <laughs> well, we just want to congratulate you guys, wish you the best at nationals, and hope uh, you, you show you know, Gulf High School proud, and we're looking forward to seeing your success. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Prom tickets will be $55 until April 7th. After that, they go up to $60, so get yours now. NJROTC is looking for students with athletic skill to become part of Gulf High's unit. Contact Chief Rodriguez or Commander McGuire in the cafeteria during lunch or your guidance counselor. This morning, you should have received two letters along with your report card. One of them included a white letter regarding Pasco eSchool and a green or purple letter that is student specific regarding transportation next year. Both letters are to be taken home for parents to review. If a change is made, then you can drop it off to the front office or return them to your teacher by Friday, April 4th. The word of the day is brusque, which re means rudely abrupt, as in Mr. Weir was a brusque teacher who didn't take time to talk to or listen to his students. That's all for our news. Have a great day, Golf High.